What's up, everybody? This is Vicious765 here, and today I got another Tech and Mysteries episode for you guys, and this one's going to revolve around um, Forest Law. Now, Forest Law, he made his debut in Tekken 3. He actually ran away to join the tournament to win some money. Um, now, I'm very foggy on the details. I believe it's because he was tired of living the life that he was living, um, and he wanted to follow Paul, basically. He ran away with Paul because Paul is kind of like an uncle figure to Law, uh, Forest Law, because Paul and Law are like brothers. They've had like years to like mature their relationship with each other as friends. Um, obviously, 18 years from like Tekken, well, that more more like 20 years because they were friends in um, Tekken 1, then yeah, 20 years will do it because eight, Tekken, the second tournament was two years away. And the third tournament was 18 years after that, so yeah, it's 20 years. Um, anyway, moving forward, um, Forest Law, he ran away with Paul. Um, I believe he lost in a tournament. He also, after that tournament, he went and wrecked on Paul's motorcycle is what happened. Um, he wrecked on Paul's motor, motorcycle um, because he was running away again, I believe. And... Um, now, here's the thing. This is what I don't understand. He hasn't made a single appearance in a canon game since. Now, he since then has, he, he's had to heal because he went to the hospital, yes, but they never really explained what the damages were. If he broke his neck, if he broke his arm or what, they just say that, you know, it's a very high hospital bill, uh, apparently. Now, I don't think he's in a coma, but, um, Law has had to work a lot in order to, you know, pay his medical bills. That's been the entire thing since Tekken 4. Um, and he, it just it just boggles my mind because he just hasn't made it back yet. Now, in Tekken 6, I thought at least Law would join either G Corporation or, you know, the Mishima Zayabatsu because they could easily provide the money. That would have been a better plot line than this is my last chance for the third time to get $10 million for my son's $10 million medical bills. You know, um, it just it just doesn't make sense, law story in general, martial laws. But going back to Forrest, I would have thought that, you know, with martial law, all the things going on with him, I would have thought that, you know, maybe that he would have gotten arrested and sent to prison or the IRS would have got to him or something with all his, um, all his, all the stuff going on with martial law, you know, and that would have been a great story for our forest law to come back with just to be like, you know, I'm going to fight for my father. I'm going to fight to get him out of this mess, la di da di da but that never happened. And Forest Law, he never came back. As a matter of fact, in Tekken Tag 2, I think it shows more that, you know, they have difficulty trying to integrate Forest and Marshall in the game because um, Forest is worse than Marshall, which, you know, he's younger, but Mar Forest Law is 26 years old. He should be at his peak by now, you know what I mean? Marshall Law, I know he had his own dojo and everything, but Forest Law, he's the younger dude. Um... He's the most popular law because Tekken 3 sold the most on PS1, so they recognize Forest Law more than Marshall, and he looks more like Bruce Lee. That's another thing. Anyway, um, uh, Forest Law, it, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm, I'm just kind of wondering what exactly is his status because is he in a coma or something? Is he just forbidden to join the tournament? Does he just not want to disobey anybody anymore? Um, the, all these things are unclear. Like, it's very unclear why they both don't join the tournament in the first place. Like, I think it's kind of unfair sometimes that we get Nina and Anna and Kazuya and Devil Jin, but we don't get Martial Law and Forest Law or Michelle and JC, you know, in a regular canon Tekken game. It's, it's really odd, but I just want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Forest Law is just had it with disobeying people and is just you know, sitting still and not fighting anymore? Or do you think that maybe that he could possibly end up be in a coma? Because it's really hard to tell because you don't see him in any canon endings. It's almost as if um, Namco has forgotten about him. But Harada has gone on many a time to say that the characters in Tekken are like his children, but it's kind of hard to, you know, to see that. He's not validating that statement because a lot of the characters just 
aren't making appearances for no good reason. Now, in Tekken 7, I would hope to hear that Forest Law makes his way into like a cutscene or something because I, I, Martial Law, I don't understand why they went through the trouble to bring him back and they went through the trouble to make a son character for Martial Law. You know what I mean? I mean, what if Paul, Paul could have a fucking kid, you know? Uh, but we don't want to replace Paul, but Paul could have had a kid. Hell, his kid could have been Lars, you know, for all we could have, for all that could have happened. But I don't know, guys. It's just like um, a Michelle thing. Like, Michelle, she doesn't pop up anymore. Like, she, I don't think she retired. She still likes to fight. I mean, look at her Tekken Tag 2 ending. She's having a ball wearing that mask, man. She's having a ball wrestling with her daughter, Julia. And, yeah, she's not in Tekken 6, and she's probably not going to be in Tekken 7, but, uh, you know, never say never. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. Um, if you got something to say about Forest Law, let me know, because I know there are a lot of Law fans out there. Don't try and hide it. <laughs> but, anyway, I'll catch you guys later.